Well, hi there. Thanks for clicking on the video. Um, I guess I'll just jump right into it. Uh, today I want to do a world tour of my Minecraft 1.20.1 world because I'm coming up on a pretty momentous occasion. I'm about to beat the dragon for the first time. And I've never actually done that. I've been playing since the beta days. And I just kind of restart the world over and over and over again. And I don't actually beat it, ever. And this is kind of the first time I'm getting close to actually doing it. So I figured, you know, I've seen other people do world tours, and I like watching those. And I'll throw my hat in the ring as kind of like a histor his history? Historical? I don't know what to call it. Like a memoir. I'm going to call it a memoir. Documentation. There you go. It's a documentation of my achievements and a way to share. I mean, maybe inspire some people. So, um, the first thing you're going to notice is everything looks and sounds weird. Why? What's wrong with your game? It's because I play with mods and resource packs to kind of change the feel of the game. There's nothing. There's no real mechanics changes, it's mostly just kind of visual and sound, so it looks and sounds pretty. The only actual, like, mechanic mod I have in the game is where you can click on slabs and sit on them. And I figure that doesn't... That doesn't, uh... Interfere too much with the, with the, with the gameplay. Because, you know, I want to keep things mostly vanilla so I can kind of... Keep playing with this world through the updates. And adding a bunch of, like, custom blocks and stuff, that's going to make that pretty hard. So this is going to be my long-time world. But anyway, this is the first place, first thing I ever built was this house. And it took me a long time. Took me a long time. And I'm pretty proud of it. It's pretty lo nice looking. Probably one of the best houses I've ever, I've ever built. But yeah, let's go go inside and check it out. And the first room you got on the left here is my forge. Got my coal in here and my anvil and stone cutter and the furnaces. Um, you know, actually, it's, this is supposed to be like the crafting area, but I actually don't do a whole lot of crafting in here. It's just kind of here for the furnaces. But anyway, let's go to the other room. The other room on the right, there's a staircase here, but I won't go up yet. This is my bedroom. Very cozy, in it? Very cozy. And uh, some things I got in here, which was interesting, is my first wooden pickaxe I made. I think I used it to mine three stone, and then made myself a stone pickaxe. And I never made a, did another wooden tool again. I got this idea from, I think his name is Dallas. He, uh, he's been playing his world for, like, nine years or something crazy. And I was watching his world tour, and that kind of inspired me. So you should go watch his video, too. Other stuff I got in here. This is my chest of valuable tools. These are my mending diamond tools. And then on the left, we've got our books. This is our, my book of coordinates to tell me where things are. Like, I've got my home. The stronghold and nether portal. The nether versions of the portals in there. That's pretty much all I got in there so far. But um, we have to put some more in there once I start to expand. And create more kingdoms and vill villages and stuff. And the other book is my ideologue. And in the ideologue is just kind of build ideas and things I want to achieve in the game. I've seen people do this with, like, signs and bulletin boards, but I like the book better because you can kind of keep track of the ones that you've already done. And if you do it with signs, you kind of have to, like, break them and put up new signs. I guess you don't have to do that, but eventually you're going to want to... It's, like, a lot of signs, and this is very compact. But yeah, that, that's cool. And then coming out here at the end of the hall, we've got our... Great room, which is really cool. It's got a vaulted ceiling and a chandelier. 
I used to have my enchanting set up in here. I had to move it for reasons which will make sense in a short while. So right now it's just kind of empty. I don't really know what to do with it. I think I'm going to make it either like a dining room or like a treasure hall maybe. I've already got my last suit of iron here. But uh, yes. Currently unfurnished. And the other room at the end of the hall is this here. This is my storage room. This is almost all the stuff that I have. That's uh, decorations, armor, and tools, random stuff. Uh, uh, crops? Redstone, stone, dirt, wood, mob stuff, my treasure, and plants. But yeah, eventually I'm gonna I'm gonna outgrow this little room and I'm I'm gonna build a warehouse to store all my stuff. And then maybe this might get transformed into like a kitchen. I think that would be nice. Coming out here, we're gonna go upstairs now. And then first room at the top of the stairs is my potion making room. And we've got our potions here and my cauldron. And like a bunch of plants and stuff over here that makes it look like I'm growing ingredients for my alchemy. And then in, in here I got some potions and ingredients and stuff. Like this is me at my getting ready for the dragon fight in here. I've got some slow falling and some healing. But yeah, that's the potion room. Coming out here, we've got another hallway, and then this kind of just does like an overlook. Which is nice. I like it, but it doesn't. It's, the view's not great right now because it's empty. And then at the end of the hall, we got another small room, which is also empty. Um, I don't really. It's kind of too small to do anything with it. Maybe I'll turn it into a bathroom or something. I don't know. So it's gonna. I just put the wall here, put it back, and it'll just be empty. And then the last room. Wouldn't you believe it? It's also empty, but. I do have a plan for this one. I'm gonna put some. Uh, I'm gonna once I get my elytra after beating the dragon. I'm gonna put a get a map. I'm gonna get a big old map wall right here of like fly around, fill up a bunch of maps. It'll look good on this wall, and then maybe something in the middle of the floor. I don't know. It's got a good view though. I like it. But anyway, that's the house. This right here is a little exit on, on, onto a balcony. And you can go down here. And then let's explore the village. Coming down this way, we've got our first villager house. And the thing I'm doing with villagers is... Each one of these guys was once a zombie that I cured. And I don't think I'm going to breed them. At least not at this point. Maybe later, once I start trying to make more villages, I might breed them. But uh, I kind of think villagers make the game a little bit too easy. And if you just go and hijack them, the game turns into turns into villager trading simulator. And I don't like that. So each one of these guys is cured. And I'm going to cure every single type of villager. But anyway... This is my cleric's house. His name's Donnie. He's got a little chapel here. And I wanted a cleric was one of the first uh, villagers. Hi, Donnie. Because living in the Dark Forest, there are quite frequent zombie invasions. And I was, I was neck deep in zombie flesh, so I needed to do something with it. So I cured a cleric. And this is Donnie. Huh? He'll buy all my zombie flesh. But anyway, he's got a little chapel here. He's got two seats for maybe, I don't know, maybe he's doing sermons for, like, nobody. I don't know. Yeah, this is, this is where he does his, um, he's got his little book here. And his potion maker is right there. This is his bedroom. 
So uh, very quaint, but I mean, he's a cleric, so. Poverty is not a big deal for him. But anyway, coming outside. Uh, this is the greenhouse. I really like this greenhouse. This is where I keep my bees. But yeah, check it out. This is where I keep my bees and get my honey. Very cool in here. It's got a high ceiling. Looks great with shaders. I don't normally play with shaders, but I figured, you know, why not show it off, make it look as good as possible. I hope the bees come out. I want to see the bees. There we go. Oh, here, here, here they go. Hee <laughs> hee. I'm thinking about putting some hives outside in the forest to maybe liven it up a little bit. But so far, not all the hives in here are, are filled, so... Maybe once that's done, I'll do that. But anyway, that's the bees. Moving right along. Donnie is uh, trying to escape. There is no escape for you. Currently, all the villagers are trapped in their houses and maybe like a little yard outside because as I mentioned zombie invasions very dangerous they can't be allowed to wander anyway coming back out this way oh here's our newest addition to the village he's a little baby right now but um he's gonna be cured I don't have a name for him or what not sure what job he's gonna be either so um yeah Post your, uh, post your name suggestions in the comments. This is one of my newer ones. His name is Carlisle. He is a stone cutter. And this is his house. Oh, he's sleeping right now. This is his house. He's got his stone cutter and some slabs that he's working on. With more stones and stuff outside getting ready to cut for people. His trades are not very good. I just got him like two or three days, Minecraft days ago, and I don't really trade with him that often. I think the the coming villagers are not going to be very useful. They're just going to be there for aesthetic reasons, and Carlisle is my very first aesthetic villager. Anyway, let's keep going. Going through this way. Up here towards the back of the village. Uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> See what I mean out of the zombies? This is my, uh. This is my. What is he called? He's my li librarian. His name is Xavier. And uh, he sells me mending and multi shot. But yeah, normally I, I I did the thing where you like break the break the lectern and you place it over and over again until you get what you want. And I'm not gonna do that again. Cause I I feel like it's cheap. I feel like it's cheating. Kind of the same way I don't like doing villager trading simulator. So, but um, I did it here because I figured, you know, I'm going to get one librarian, and I might as well make him a good one. So here he is, Xavier. He's got a pretty cozy house. I'm jealous of his house. Not really, mine's way better. The, the, the village is going to expand more this way. There's a... Uh, some posts I set down over there for the next house. I'm not sure who's going to go in there yet. This spot right here is kind of my experimentation with lighting. I don't like torch spam. So I was like putting out glow lichen and these like hanging vines. With the glow berries and there's some shroom lights in the trees. I don't think I like these vines, the hanging vines. They, the, 
the color of the leaves doesn't really match the dark forest very well. So, yeah. Experiments. Experiments. But anyway, this is my first villager's house. His name is Boris. Um, starting out in the, in the world, uh, I was getting lots of spider string. So, I need something to do with the spider string. So, he's a Fletcher. He buys all my spider string. How's it going, Boris? Here's my first villager. Um, this is where he keeps his spider string up here. It's getting a little low. But anyway, he's got a nice quaint house. Very rustic. Anyway. Coming out. This is a little spot that I cleared for maybe another house or something in the future. I don't know. But uh, that's my last villager's house. House. Let's go over there. This is my farmer. This is Rhonda. She's also very new, so her trades are... I have not traded with her once. She buys beets and potatoes. I don't really... I don't really do a whole lot of farming anymore. Her, her house is in the spot where a wheat farm used to be. But um, I was I don't grow it anymore. Anyway, her house is pretty simple on the inside. She's got her hoe, a little plant, and some mulch, some fertilizer. She puts it in her house. It's not very sanitary, but you know, where else is she gonna put it? Am I right? <laughs> but this section over here is where my automatic farms are. Some kind of glitch going on over there. But anyway, this is my automatic sugarcane farm. Oh, it's just triggered right now. And this is like 80% of all the sugarcane that it's grown. And it's been... I've built it like 100 days ago, maybe. It's its very slow. I don't know what's wrong with it. Maybe it's just it doesn't have... It doesn't have very many sugarcanes in there. And it's just slow because sugarcane is slow. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But this is my uh, this is my automatic melon and pumpkin farm, and this is way faster. Yeah, that's a lot. There's probably more in there too. There's two chests in there, and that's just the one that you can reach. It's very effective. And the last farm over here. Oh, I gotta adjust my microphone. This is the last farm. It's cactus. You can probably tell from the cactus. Uh, it's my newest one, and it is also pretty good, although probably slightly inefficient. So I try to like I try to like make it pretty. And there's maybe some of the cactus falls on the ledge and doesn't go in the water. But whatever. I don't need that much cactus. I got the cactus from a wandering trader. I don't I haven't done a whole lot of exploring in the world. I don't have a desert. I don't know where there are any deserts at all. I haven't explored because I know 121 is coming out soon and I didn't want to uh I didn't want to, you know, look around and spoil some things before 121 comes out. Maybe some of the new stuff will generate near me. Look at this. This right here is some amazing technology. It's called the Automotor 9000. You put the plants in the top, and you get bone meal out of the bottom. Wow. Look at all this mulch it's made. Wow. Um, yeah, this is the cow and sheep farm. Um, it, it's very loud. There are a lot of cows. I I got all of my books from these cows. There's a little inside area, and it lets you get into the sheep and cow area. There's sheeps of all different colors. Eventually, I'm going to make an automatic sheep farm that shears them once I get every color of sheep. And then maybe some pigs will go in this section. And replace them. 
I also want to make I want to make a farm for every animal. So there's I'm gonna get llamas and I'm gonna get rabbits and goats. It's gotta be great. I should talk about this thing over here. Maybe turn down the the cow sounds. There you go. This is my attempt at um, adding some lore to the world. This is like a wooden statue of a guy in like a cloak and he's got a staff of light and I'm calling these guys I'm gonna make some more of these and I'm gonna call them I think the sentinels or the druids something like that right now there's no backstory at all he just kinda looks cool so I'm gonna sprinkle those around the town and uh, maybe give them names I don't know but I like how this little area turned out Looks cool and mystical. I also want to give... I want to name the town something. I'm thinking about using the word Sylvan, which means like rustic and woodsy. I think that captures this place pretty well. I think uh, Sylvan Grove is where my mind goes, but the thing is, it doesn't really have any flow. This path just reaches, connects the uh, automatic farms to my house. I might put something else here. I don't know yet. But anyway, that's almost everything above ground. There's one more area to look at. Which is down here. In the center of town. There's a little hole. Which is the the mine. And this is the f my first hole that I dug down. And this is kind of the mine cart tracks to the places of note which are underground. I've got two ways to ride. One of them goes to the Enchanting and Spider Grinder. Cause... Oh, the minecart sounds are very quiet. Wait, does, does, do those count as friendly creatures? Oh, it does. That's funny. Okay, hold on. That's actually too loud. I'm turning it down again. But anyway, this minecart track, I kind of interrupted it there, but this leads over to the enchanting area. And this is down here because of this little beauty rarity. This is the double spider spawner grinder. There's a spawner in there, and there's a spawner over there. If I'm in a mine shaft right now. As you can tell, there's some of the remnants of the wood is still here. So yeah, it's a, it's a mine shaft. And two of these spawners spawn right pretty close to each other, so I said I'd you know, I'm going to turn it into, into an XP grinder. And uh I get lots of stuff out of here. I get lots of string. And uh spider eyes. The string I I trade to Boris. And the spider eyes I don't really have a use for right now, which is kind of a bummer. But uh it, it uh this place is kind of dangerous. So you're going to have to stand back and whack them from here. But yeah. You sit and you wait, and the spiders pop up here, and then you slap them. And then put the crap in here. And then you can chant stuff here, and this is where I got most of my gear. Um, I'm pretty close to getting perfect um, enchants. I still need to get a silk touch pick and shovel. But, um. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ex expecting to do more enchanting in the future, and also want to kind of uh, pretty this area up a little bit. It's a bit ugly. Can't let this go to waste. But anyway, we have to ride all the way back up to the top to get to the other train track. And I'm going to add probably a third train track that leads between the two underground areas. But right now, it's still in the works. Uh, I'm working on it. Are okay? Give me a sec. This way, we can hop over. 
This goes down to the nether portal and... What do you call it? The strip mine. But yeah, digging down little staircase at the very start of the game which is over there I found this little lush cave and I thought you know this would be a cool place for a nether portal which is right here the nether portal is there's not a whole lot I've made in the nether so far but I'll show it about later might as well go show you the um the strip mine, because you know that's really interesting. I gotta show you. I gotta show you where I hold down left click and W. But yeah, no. Most people, I had some like wood, like decor in here, but um, it all burned down because lava somehow burns things through the floor. And instead of like you know avoiding the lava like a smart person, I would just pour water on it and make it this big old obsidian mess. Which I think it, it, it looks cool. And like there's lava coming down from up here. But yeah, I've done lots of mining. I did not find a big cave so, so far. One of the caves in Clips Caves. One of those giant gigantic, which I'm a little disappointed. I will find one one day. But in these chests is just stone and some nether blocks. And that chest I can't open. But anyway, let's get on out of here, and um, this chest has got fire resistance potions in it, because, you know, for, for the nether. Um, and these are my nether shoes, my nether kicks. They've got um, fire resistance and stuff on it, which makes traversing the nether less scary. This is kind of a loud portal. I'm going in, though. I'm going to show you my very... It's very meager in the nether, things that I've made. But it does go somewhere nice. Hopefully the game doesn't crash. Okay, here we go. The nether. <laughs> oh, hello. But yeah, this is my initial nether spawn. It's in a soul sand valley. There's a big cliff on the other side of this. Which is why I added the walls. It's just a cobblestone box right now. <laughs> <laughs> which I'm gonna make it nice looking, I swear. But coming out of there, there's another fortress right there, which is super, super, super lucky. Die, would you? But anyway, and then another fortress right there, which is super handy. And then coming up this way, I've got another rail. And this rail goes to the stronghold. Stronghold actually generated pretty close to my house, which was lucky. So I didn't have to make a rail too long in the nether. Also, I, I like rails, okay? Just, they're fun to ride. I feel like it's a bit of a lost art now in modern Minecraft where you can just fly everywhere. But yeah, this is the stronghold. Pops out right here. This room I'm also gonna remodel to make it look nicer. But um, yeah, the portal's ready. I'm not exactly ready, but you know, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight the dragon with you guys. I'm gonna uh get get geared up and I'm gonna make a cut, and then we're gonna fight him. And bam! Look at that. Ready to fight. Alright, so what I've got here is I've got my potions. Healing, slow falling in case I get knocked around by the dragon. 
Andrew Pearls, also for getting knocked around by the dragon. Bunch of arrows. Lots of glass bottles, too, to pick up some dragon breath. And just a bunch of blocks in Netherrack for towering and stuff. I am simultaneously nervous and excited. I mean, I've seen a lot of guys do this, like, on YouTube and stuff. They make it look really easy. So it's probably really easy, right? It's an easy fight? Even on hard mode? Right? Alright. No more dilly-dallying. The Ender Dragon. You know what? I installed some music for this. Let's turn it up. Okay, here we go. Oh. There's the dragon. All right, here we go. All right, make the easy shot first and miss. That was just a test. Ow, you're not supposed to do that. Go away. Whoa, okay. I don't know why the eating sounds don't work. Oh. Dragon breath. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> this is easy, right? Wait, did I... Oh, I got that one already. Okay. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Ooh, wait, whoa. <laughs> give it to me, give it to me. You miss. You're bad. I'm not, I'm not doing the bed strat either. Ooh, that could have been bad. I'm doing it. Straight bow and arrow. Ow. Well, not bow and arrow. Bow and sword. Ow. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, no, it's fine. I lived. There's the dragon. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Don't hit me. Ow. Ow. Okay. Oh, I took out part of the tower. That's all the crystals. Okay. Now's, now's the killing part. Down here, you coward. Fight me like a dragon. Ow. Dragon breath hoits. Your breath is my tool. Okay. We're good. Face me, beast! Might, I might have been overprepared for this. Ow! Is that a hit? I'm gonna have to watch the replay on that one. <laughs> I'm actually very calm right now. I am in the zone. This is a victory assured. Shoot your breath. I dare you. Yeah, I need to get out more. Oh, this is 
suck up your breath. Oh. Ow, one hit left. I, I'm gonna use up all my bottles. And then we kill it. Oh. Die! Do it more! Ow! <laughs> Victory for Chuck. All right. I beat the game. 69 levels. Nice. And then we get the dragon egg like so. Nice. Awesome. Well, I'm, I'm pretty hyped about that. That was fun. Thanks for watching the video, I guess. If you want to... Oh! Um, let's, let's, let's go back to the... Let's go back home before I do the outro. Alright, we're hopping in. And it's the credits. Mince Raft. Ashen. That's the name of the texture pack. Very nice. Fast forward. Hey, I'm redubbing the end of the video because in the original recording I was mumbling a lot quietly because people were asleep. So I'm doing it again, but essentially what I said was I enjoyed playing the game. I enjoyed making the video. So I'm probably going to make another video after I play the game some more. And if you want to see more, you should subscribe. Stick around. See what happens. But yeah, I, I also realized I never mentioned what my name was. Um, this is my username. But j just say Boonie. Just say Boonie. But anyway, here's some screenshots of me in the end. Getting my Elytra. Looking pretty sweet. Yeah. That's it. Bye.